Hi, I'm Teresa V. I'm an intuitive and an angelic channel. Each month, I check in with the archangels to see what messages and advice they have to make our path through the energies that we are facing much more ease and grace-filled. In this video, the angels remind us of the power of connection and talk about how we can harness that and utilize it in our own lives and on behalf of the world. They talk about the change in seasons, both physically and energetically, and it will have you excited and hopeful. They help you to get in touch with your new story, what comes next for you in your own life. We focus on the simple ways that we're building the foundations for what comes next. And they show us how to easily use the web of interconnectedness so that we no longer feel isolated or powerless regardless of what's going on around us. This month, it is really important for us as humanity to remember how connection to other people actually fuels us like nothing else. Going out in nature helps. There are other things that we can do to fuel ourselves, but being with other people is one of the fastest ways for us to raise our energy, to raise our vibration, because we feel part of a collective. We feel part of a group. We feel part of something. There's a resonance that happens there that is very important. They want us to realize how much the feeling of disconnection that we've had over the past year has affected our nervous systems, has affected our psyche. As people who are used to showing up for other people, we have a tendency to minimize the effect that situations and energies have on our own systems. And so the angels are asking us to just take pause to notice that, to realize that some of the things that may be coming up in our lives are as a result of this feeling of disconnection, of this feeling of being isolated, and just to be present with that, and then to acknowledge it, and to give ourselves credit for all that we've been through over this period of time, to take a moment to celebrate having made it this far. When we celebrate milestones, even if they don't seem like big deals, we are telling the universe, thank you, bring me more. Then we're bringing in more and more support. And the angels want to be able to support us on a much deeper level, and we have access to that now. The energy of the earth has shifted. Our energy has shifted. The vibration of the collective has raised, regardless of what you may think the world looks like on the outside. That vibrational shift has happened, and now the realms on the other side, the divine, can support us in much more tangible ways. And so the angels are asking us to take moments to celebrate our successes even when they may not look like a big deal to you. Taking the time to really appreciate what you've been through and what you've accomplished sets you up for the openness to receive even more. You've seen the power of gratitude work. This is the same work from a slightly different perspective humanity is now facing the spring. It has been an incredibly long winter, metaphorically and physically for many people. The metaphorical winter that we've been in for a year, where we've had to go internal, we've had to examine things. In the most recent months, we've seen where illusion in our own personal life is falling away. We've had to let go of so much and reprioritize, really think about and feel into what is important to us as we move forward. The angels want us to know that as we move into March, it's time to take those awarenesses to take what you have left and to move into action. This is springtime where things are beginning to grow. The process of falling away at that level has completed. And now it's time for us to nurture what we have left, what there is in our life that we've chosen to keep, what has shown that it is worthy of still being part of our journey. And as we nurture those things, relationships, jobs, whatever they are, we are again sending the message to universe, sending the message to the divine. Thank you, bring me more. I want more like this. I have chosen to keep this in my life for a reason. And so please now, bring me more like it. They want us to examine what is my new story? And to look at this again personally and globally, what is the new story that you are holding for the world? What do you want the world to feel like? How do you want to feel in your own life? And they're asking you to start 
nourishing those areas of your life to get you closer to those feelings. So the relationships that you've chosen to keep, make the time for connection, make the time for reconnection. You are now building what comes next. As you do that, you are setting the foundation for the kinds of things that you want in your life, for the way you want to feel in all areas of your life, and also for the way that you want every person to feel. If you're putting your attention on something that is not worthy of it, that is not worthy of being carried forward in your life or in the life of the planet, think about that because energy follows intention and intention follows attention. Remember that you are making an active choice every time you put your attention on something. If it is not worthy of your attention, start changing that and take that time, take that energy and move it into something that is more worthy of your intention. Building the future that you want, both in your own life and globally. Do more of the things that feed your soul. Grow, nurture, develop the connections that you've chosen to keep around. The ones that have survived, maybe even grown during this time of winter. Those are the ones that feed you. Those are the ones that support you. What kinds of activities would bring you more joy? How can you anchor more joy in your own life? Remember, you are setting the foundation for everything that comes next now. This is the spring. This is where you're actively planting the seeds. You're tending the seeds that you've already planted. The seeds of your intention. The seeds of your desire. The seeds of the vision that you've been holding. You've been holding the vision for so long. It is time to take active steps. Every choice you make. Every place that you focus your attention and intention. Every conversation you have, every thought that you think is building the foundation for the future, your future as a person and the future of this planet. So it's time for us to really get in there and focus on, is this truly what I want as I move forward? Do I want to feel like I am feeling right now? And if not, what can I do to change that? Remember that connection is key. So many have focused on growing their connection with the divine and been frustrated also because even that connection has changed throughout this period. Remember, connection to others is what gives you life, even if you're an introvert more than anything else. So it's time to look at how can I connect with others? How can I, at this point, when so much of humanity is hitting the brick wall based on what we have been through, how can I start to connect with others, feel that energetic interconnectedness? How can I create more of that feeling of belonging, grounding, having active support with feet on the ground in this world? It's time for us to, as we nourish and nurture the connection to the divine, the connection to our divine team and our angels, to also begin to focus actively on our connections here. And to remember that there are also things that we have to navigate in terms of connecting the way we might desire to connect. So our creativity is key here. How can we do this? How can we do this safely? How can we do this for the highest good of all? There is an energetic connection between every single person in this world, every single soul that has ever existed. And it is time for us now to move more into being able to connect energetically, to connect through our thoughts, through sending energy to each other, through that web of crystalline interconnectedness. It's time for us to rely much more on that. That is the way of communication moving forward. That is the way that we'll be opening more and more. So many people dismiss this energetic connection because it can't be seen necessarily. It can't be observed. But once you have experienced it, you know it to be true and you have experienced it. 
in some way in your lifetime. And so the angels want us to move more into that so that we don't feel as isolated and we don't feel as energetically depleted as we gear up moving our energy into building the foundation. Nobody wants to feel isolated and depleted in the world as we move forward. So how can we navigate our situations so that that is not an option for us? There's a power in that connection. There's so much power in that connection, in that interconnectedness. Other people are reaching for you with their full heart, with their soul. They're desiring your presence just as you are in their life. As you are reaching for them, the community that you desire to love and nurture and support you is there reaching for you at the same time. So when we open ourselves to this energetic connection, when we open ourselves to allowing the fullness of our vibration to exist in the world, we start attracting those people who we've wanted in our lives for so long. The problem is because of the sensitivity level of many spiritually focused people, we contract our energy and we don't allow our energetic imprint to be full in the world. And so the connections of the people looking for us are sometimes missed. And it's time for us now to open to ground into the safety and the support that is available to us from our angels and from each other especially. And so the angels are asking us as we are here together right now, to take a moment and utilize the power of that connection. So just gently close your eyes and bring your breath to your heart. To the heart center, that energetic center that exists right in the space where your physical heart is. Just bring the breath there. And invite your angels, your guardian angels, your archangels, or if you're not comfortable with that, just invite the divine, invite God to be here present with you, to fill your heart with love. And just let it rain down, wash over you, and fill your heart. This love energy, breathe it in. Breathe in. If any thoughts of unworthiness come, just breathe them out. And now imagine, sense, see, or feel your heart filled with this energy of the love of the divine, with the love of your angels. And with your next breath, we're just going to release this love. Send it out through your heart center. Let it wash over the world and reach anyone who is sick and suffering at this moment in time. Anyone who is ready to receive this love, this energetic support. Let it wash over the world. You may see it traveling through that crystalline web of interconnectedness. Let it go where it needs to go with the intention to help those who are on a journey of healing, who need a little bit of support, who are feeling isolated. And since you're sending the love of the divine, this takes nothing from you. This is a completely renewable resource that will take none of your energy. Just let it wash over. This is how we use this energetic connection when we come together with a focus. We are powerful and we can change the lives of people just by being willing to connect with each other. Just continue to breathe that out. This collective intention is changing the lives of people all over the world right now. And then bring your attention back to your own heart center and feel how it may feel that it's grown. See how your body is responding. There'll be a lightness to your energy. There will be a joy 
that you have helped another person because you have connected. Even though there was nobody sitting here with you, you connected to people all over the world just now in a way that is safe, in a way that feels good and beneficial and energizes you. There are so many who need healing right now. Maybe you're even one of them. And the angels want us to know that we are never alone. They are always there with us. They are always just waiting for us to ask them for assistance, to tell them what we need. And even if we don't know what we need, to tell them how we want to feel. And they will start showing us the steps that we need to take to move in the direction of how we want to feel. All we need to do is take the action then. So the angels just want you to breathe into your heart and let their love, let the love of the divine fill you. Because there is so much gratitude for the work that you've just done. That feels really complete from our angels for this month. If you would like to connect more with the kinds of things that the angels talked about here today and learn practical tools for employing this way of being in your life, please join us for the Opening to Miracles series happening throughout this month, starting on the 12th. In this three-part video series, we'll be exploring ways to cultivate and grow our ability to live with ease in the flow of the miraculous. We'll remember on a cellular level that that level of flow and synchronicity is our birthright. And we'll examine how to cultivate energy in our physical bodies and our energetic systems so that we can operate from a place of surplus. The angels have said that we will not be allowed as people who are here in service to the world to operate from a place of deficit anymore. So we need to be able to focus and cultivate our energy properly. And this three-part series will help you to do just that. Tap the link in the description of this video or in the comments to read more or to sign up. And if you would like love notes from the angels delivered straight to your inbox, please tap the link for angelic love notes in the comments section or in the description of this video as well. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of this community, commenting, liking, and sharing these videos. The more we can get these messages into the hands of those who need to hear them and share them with the world, the more we can set a solid foundation as we move forward in love and in unity. Sending you so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye.